In this presentation we are going to give you a brief overview of Six Sigma. Six Sigma is a tool that significantly improves customer satisfaction by reducing variability in every aspect of a process or business. Six Sigma is an indicator of a process variability performance and is a goal to be achieved. Six Sigma's goals are basically to reduce defects, reduce variability, improve yield and ultimately improve customer satisfaction. So what do we mean by variability? Well here is a simple example. Two employees arrival time is measured over several weeks. Both are identified as having an average arrival time of 8am. But which employee would be better to schedule a meeting with? Well I think employee B, because at most you know he is going to be either 5 minutes early or 5 minutes late, and I can live with that. With employee A, they will either be very early or 30 minutes late. I can't live with that level of variation. Variation is what the customer experiences. Which would you prefer to arrange a meeting with? When we talk about Six Sigma, what do we actually mean? Well, Sigma is used to represent standard deviation, a measure of variation of a population. The term Six Sigma process comes from the notion that if one has six standard deviations between the mean, which is the centre of a process, and the nearest specification limit, there will be practically no items that fail to meet the specifications. This is the basis of the process capability study. The term Six Sigma has its roots in this tool. Now the customer defines a defect. This is when the product or service does not meet the customer's specifications or targets. This can be calculated in defects per million opportunities. Most people would think that 99% is pretty good, it's okay, you're doing really well if you achieve 99%. Or would you? What if you had unsafe drinking water for 15 minutes every day? Or were on a plane and experienced a short landing because they were so frequent? Or got an incorrect drug prescription? 99% doesn't actually sound that good anymore. Six Sigma greatly improves these statistics and that's why so many businesses are putting so much effort into this mythology. The first target shows a nice tight cluster of hits but the process centre is way off. The next target shows a greater variability but at least it hits the target dead centre every now and then. The final target here is nicely centred and the variation is low. This is the best result and what Six Sigma tries to achieve. Within a process there will often be something referred to as a hidden factory. Now this applies to non-manufacturing areas, in other words office areas, just as much as a factory producing widgets for instance. Ideally you want everything to go through the process without a problem, but every time you have to correct something, that's the hidden factory in operation. And this is all wastage. Rolled throughput yield is the probability of the entire process producing zero defects. Each process here has performed above 90%, but the total yield is going to be well below that. That's because the hidden factory is eating up your right first time through the performance. One of the key mythologies in Six Sigma is something called DMAIC and that stands for Define, Measure, Analyze, Improve and Control. 
DMAIC is used to improve an existing business process and this graphic shows some of the tools that can be used during these stages. To achieve a Six Sigma level of performance we need to identify the critical inputs and control them. We all tend to concentrate on taking corrective actions that we know how to take, not necessarily concentrating on the problems we should correct and the actions needed to correct them. Problems are caused by X's, so focus on the cause of the X's. Let's consider what makes a good Six Sigma black belt project. First of all, we have to be talking about recurring events, things that we do over and over and that have ample room for variation or mistakes that affect customer satisfaction and quality. Secondly, they must be tightly focused in a fairly narrow scope, otherwise they get too awkward for a black belt to manage. We've said a couple of times that process improvements based on Six Sigma are driven by clear statistics and hard data. For this reason, black belt projects must have available metrics or measurement criteria that can be developed quickly. The Six Sigma black belt needs to have control over the process to initiate improvements. The project must show a clear potential for improvement in customer satisfaction. And finally, the project must show a clear potential for cost savings. The level of saving possible need to be reasonable, needs to be a reasonable amount as applying a Six Sigma approach does take some effort. So to summarise, Six Sigma directly attacks variation, defects and hidden factories. It focuses on the customer needs and metrics, uses the DMAIC process and affects directly quality, cost, cycle time and financial results. And finally, it ensures a predictable working environment.